Ain't nothing wrong with a little drink. A little drinky drink. But just make sure you got it under control. Make sure you got it under control. That's all I'm talking about. Get you a little drink. Drink the drink the drink. Drink, drink. Yeah, I was the type of person that. Like I said before, I don't think anyone could honestly say I was an alcoholic. But here and there you'll find people, rightfully so, would probably say or question themselves. Like, does he drink too much? There's been patches in my life where that may be a question. And, you know, maybe it's the same for you at this point, right? And it starts with you asking yourself that question. That's the most important thing. It doesn't matter what other people say, right? As long as you know what you're doing, right? As long as you know what you're doing and, you know, if it's if it's under control, then it's under control. Like, for example, like for me, some, like I drink three times a week, right? And I typically have my days of the week that I drink. You know, out of 52 weeks, 49 of them weeks, I'm very disciplined. Maximum, I'm going to drink three times a week on maximum 49 out of the 52 weeks right so if you see me the reason why i'm saying don't always concern yourself about what other people are saying about you is because for me for example i let's say if i drink on let's say a tuesday right if i drink on a tuesday but i go out to the bar every tuesday the person at the bar that sees me there every single Tuesday may assume that I drink a lot, right? Because they see me there every time that they see me, I'm drinking, right? So to accept their assessment and you're drinking one day out of seven days, that wouldn't be a wise thing to do, right? But here, here and there, I'm saying don't. It, what matters is what you think what matters is what you think right some people for some people one day out of the week is too many times to be consuming alcohol some people actually believe that and that's rightfully so some people are like you you drink alcohol period once a month two times a month it's like yo that's not good right so it all it's all relative it all depends on who you're talking to right so that's why i say don't concern yourself with what other people are assessing you to be that's why you want to catch it early if you start asking yourself do i drink too much you should listen to yourself and you should act upon it and test it out right if you can cut another day out of your week for a couple weeks then that means you still have control over it and you can reevaluate yourself, right? But it's it's it starts with self. What other people say is important to some extent, but it's very important that we we begin to have conversations with ourselves, just about the normal, typical things that we do. It's the same like if you bite in your nails, right? Maybe you're of age of what the popular popular consensus would say. You shouldn't be biting your nails, but maybe you bite your nails. It's the same exact thing. Forget what other people say. Like, do you think it's cool to bite your nails? Like, if you understand, like, all of the, the reasoning why most people don't think it's cool to bite your nails, at least most clean people. I'm not going to say most people. Because I see a lot of people biting their nails still. But I, I personally don't do it because there's a lot of dirt under your nail a lot of funky nasty things under your nails like that's a fact all type of stuff and if you don't clean your nails regularly and i'm not just talking about a, a manicure i'm talking about do you clean your nails regularly like every hour right there's some stuff down there in the nail so that's why i don't bite my nails see me i just went like this that's going under my nail and that's just, yeah, it's my face, but there's so much bacteria on my face right now, no matter where I go. Right? But that's the, that's, that's the deal. Do you think it's cool? 
Forget what else. Oh, you look stupid biting your nails. Like, if you enjoy and find value in biting your nails, bite your nails. Forget what other people say. Forget what other people say. As long as you is cool with it. I do that in every... I, I make it a point to do that in every area of my life. I did the same thing with Pepsi. Same thing with Pepsi. Because I used to drink Pepsi all the time. Like I, have, I was not disciplined. Same way I was with alcohol. I was with Pepsi. Same exact thing. No discipline. But at a certain point, I had to ask myself... Like, why, why am I drinking so much Pepsi? Found out that it tastes good. Okay, I agree. It tastes amazing. But I need to get some control over my drinking of Pepsi. I really need to get some control over it. So what did I do? I got control over it. I didn't mean to only drink it like once or twice a month. But... You see what I'm saying? I had to ask myself that question. If I looked at all the bad things that's that's wrong with Pepsi, I thought about all the bad things that's wrong with Pepsi, and then I was like, eh, it don't taste... It don't taste what the... You, 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 it, doesn't, it doesn't taste as good as... It being a reason why I get sick and die. It's, it doesn't taste that good. So, therefore, I'm going to stay away from it. And that's just my mindset behind it. Like, because Pepsi does kill. It does. This is probably like drinking a beer. The, as far as health-wise. Not as far as intoxication. But Pepsi... Like, what's healthier, a Pepsi, a, a cup of Pepsi this size, or a cup of beer this size? What's healthier? I would say that's a, a strong debate. I would like to see this the, the, the facts on that. Because I think it's just as healthy. Now, the bad thing about alcohol is that it, 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 it's, it gets you intoxicated. But as far as health, just pure health, I wonder what the... I wonder which one is healthier. A cup of Pepsi or a cup of beer. Yeah. I think that's about it. Um, that's the health thing. Ask yourself. Ask yourself. Ask yourself. Ask yourself, man. Ask yourself. Ask yourself. Don't be like me. And don't be worse than me. But damn, don't be like me. Don't be like me. Before I've changed, I'm a changed man now. I haven't drunk alcohol every day probably about five, six years. Good night. I started out, once I asked myself that question, I started one day out of the week. Right? And then it goes to, I'm a not... After about a year or two with that, I developed the habit of only drinking, not drinking one day a week. I consistently did that for like a year or two. And then after a year or two, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to drink two days out of the week. I'm not going to drink two, two days out of the week. Now, the cold turkey thing didn't work for me. It may work for you, but it didn't work for me. This is what happened. This is my true life. This is a fact of my life. So after a year or so with the two days out of the week, I'm not drinking. Two days out of the week, this day and this day, I'm not drinking. The following year, what did I do? I said, I'm not going to drink three days out of the week. Now, now I'm, at, I'm at four days a week right now. I'm not drinking. 49 out of the 52 weeks a year maximum, I'm drinking Three days a week. I'm not drinking four days out of the freaking week. Anybody who's asked themselves the question of, do I drink too much? Or anybody who drinks too much understands how big that is. If you don't understand, if, you, if, you, if, you're, not in that, if you're not in that world where you actually are like, oh, snap, that's big news. That's inspiring. Then think of it in, in some other format or some other facet of your life. Right?
So, I think that's it right there. That's it right there. Drink too much? Do you drink too much? Ask yourself. Ask yourself. Forget what everybody else is saying. The only reason why we so worried about what everybody else is saying about us is because we ain't talking to ourselves enough. We ain't talking to ourselves enough. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Shit. That's why you listen to everybody else because you ain't listening to yourself enough. You're not talking to yourself enough. Sometimes I get tired of talking to myself, honestly. But I'd rather listen to myself too much than listen to other people too much, especially when they ain't telling me nothing good. I'm trying to tell you, ask yourself, talk to yourself, talk to yourself, ask yourself, why are you at this job, why don't you go to the gym, why don't you exercise, why you don't comb your hair, why you don't brush your hair, why you only brush your teeth one time a day. Why do you still watch football? Why ain't you with the NFL blackout? Do black lives matter to you? Worry about what everybody else doing with the black lives movement. How do you feel about it? How do you feel? How do you feel? You regurgitating and tell me what everybody else is saying. How do you feel about the black lives matter movement? How do you feel about you not participating in the blackout? The NFL blackout? What what are you? What are you? What what are you? Y'all trying to be making me think I'm crazy. I ain't crazy. I wanna know what you what do you think about the thing? What do you think? What do you think? I know you read that information. I know you read that article, but what do you think about it? Dental problems don't get better the longer you wait. They just get worse and more expensive. The number one dental plan in America today guarantees to save you 20 to 80% on all dental procedures you can get done in the dental office. Regular teeth cleanings all the way up to cosmetic dentistry. No waiting periods. Contact a benefit consultant immediately to find out what open enrollment specials are available in your state today. 888-674-9409.